Mining advice for an underground nipper or truck job. Welcome to Australian Mining for New Starters. And today we're going to do a video about the different types of mining advice that get shared around and what it actually means and what you get out of it. But first I'd just like to give Mick a shout out who um, recently picked himself up a job on Paceville with one of the big contracting companies. I don't think Mick will um, mind if I let everybody know that he was on the other side of 50. So well done, mate. I know you'll have a, a good 10, 15 years left and um, yeah, make a lot of money out of it. So well done. Now, if we come over to this post from Win Win um, from that Jess put up, um, underground truck driving is one of the most common entry level positions going today, and she's she's a hundred percent right with that statement. And if we go on to Seek and we type underground in, you'll see all the jobs come up. And there's entry level jobs in South Australia. There's entry level jobs on the east coast. There's entry level jobs on the west coast. You'll see that all the mining companies are looking for experienced truck drivers and nippers at the moment, as well as looking for putting on trainees. The reason that they're looking for experienced people is because they really don't want to train because when they train, they have a high turnover of new starters. But before we talk about that, let's go back and have a talk about the common mining advice that most people give out. So the most advice that gets given out is get the job and they'll train you on site now there's a couple of things that can go wrong with that and I saw I got sent a post that someone had written about entry-level stuff and it was a good post about how you know what to watch out for and all that sort of stuff but there was a qualifier in it and the qualifier was decent it was if you get a decent crew if you get somebody that's decent to teach you and that is probably the nub of the problem that's going on at the moment is that when you get one of these jobs and you go in green on the employers training program then all those training programs at the moment are currently um, turning over more than 50% of people are failing them. So they get to site and for whatever reason that they don't work out. There's a whole heap of reasons that that happens. You know, as this post alluded to, you know, not everybody on site is interested in teaching somebody that they think is not going to make it. So if you get up there and you flounder around, it can be a self-fulfilling prophecy very quickly. But that's the one thing that nobody that gives out the advice that says, go to, you know, get the job and they'll train you. That's the one thing that nobody really says is that if you go in that way, then there's, you know, you've got more than a 50% chance of failure because that's, you know, what it is, unfortunately. Now, back in the day, a group of shift bosses sat down and wrote a course. And the whole idea behind this course was to teach you the exact jobs on site. So this underground truck operating course that we're going to have a look at briefly wasn't written by a safety and training person. It was written by a bogger operator. So there's a big difference. So if you once you sign up for this and anybody that's um, thinking about getting one of these underground jobs for $450, you're mad not to sign up for it and learn all the information in it before you get to site, just in case you don't get a decent person, you get a difficult person to deal with but once you do sign up you'll go on to my you get signed into my account I've signed into the mining coach account here and it's on the underground training website you can use it on your computer your phone your tablet all that sort of stuff and we're just going to go to the truck operation course and we're just going to expand out and have a quick look at all the different things so this goes through exactly what the bogger operator wants you to know and how the job's going to go it goes into um, your focus points underground for turning the articulated trucks where you want to be watching out for how you want to be turning them talks about driving down the decline getting the buckets in the truck driving up the decline goes into specifically getting a load and if we look at loading the truck talks about arriving at the loading bay and it shows you what you've got to do and watch out for as the bogger comes out you go back bucket goes in you pull forward bogger goes in comes back you've got to position yourself under the loading bay here so the bogger can get the um, bucket up into the air and third bucket on pat down and away you go so it goes into all the important tips when loading and it also goes into the most common mistakes that people make, which is really important. But you can see 
that the training goes into a great deal of detail with all the aspects of the job that you're going to have to do. And the reason that the, you know this was written is because this isn't a new problem that they're experiencing with high turnover of new starters. It's been like this since I started, you know, sort of you know, 27 years ago now. Um, and every time we go into a boom where there's lots of um, new minds opening up or lots of minds expanding and having to put on new people, they always go through significant turnover of new starters. So what I say to people is that, you know, you need to prepare yourself so if you get to site and you don't get a decent person to show you, then you're ready and prepared for the job. So you already understand what's going to be required of you. And that's what you can do with the Intro to Underground mining course, the DIY course, or I reckon you're mad not to do the win-win and get Jess and Alana's help to do your resume. You learn all the online stuff. They'll put you through your paces with mining questions to make sure you're the full bottle on interview prep. And um, yeah, you shouldn't get have too much of a problem getting in to interviews and getting jobs because like I said, if you type underground into seek, you'll see all the jobs come up. They're taking lots of people. But what you need to be aware of for all the surface offsiding, the underground nipper, truck, underground drum and driller offsider, all those jobs and the training programs that they're putting people through, it's all 50% more failure rate. And that's why there's so many jobs asking for experienced truck drivers. The reason they want experienced truck drivers and experienced nippers is because they're over having to train people and having the huge failure rate that they've got. And, you know, they're, they're bending themselves over backwards trying to fix it with extra training and simulators and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, unless you've been told exactly what needs to happen down the hole, like you would, like you are, when you have a look at the, um, the, the training that we've got with the four online courses and the seminar, you know, that's the stuff that the employers want you to know. So when you're looking out for seeking advice, you know, often people will say that, yeah, get the job and they'll train you on site. But what they won't tell you is that, you know, if you go down that method, especially with the hard rock underground truck jobs and nipper jobs, then, you know, the 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 company training, you know, that has a, a, a above 50% failure rate, unfortunately. Um, it, it just is what it is. And, you know, the best thing that you can do to, to not be a statistic is to go in knowing how it all works. And the easiest way to go in knowing how it all works is to, you know, use one of these packages like this win-win package here to get your mining knowledge up to speed. So I hope you found that information helpful. And, you know, the advice get a job you know get the job and then get trained on site you know that normally comes from people that have been in the industry for you know 12 months or 18 months and hasn't really experienced a turnover you know you only have to be in the industry for three or three to five years before you see how many people actually get turned over out of the industry and that's one of the things that we talk about in the training too that when you get to site you know it takes time for people to warm up to people and the only reason that is is because they're just used to so many people being turned over so nobody Nobody wants to invest into, into somebody that, you know, isn't going to be their next swing. So it takes a little while for people to open up and, you know, warm up to you. But if you know what's going on and you're having a red hot go, that also helps. So if you, if you, if you can find your feet really quickly, that's the best way, you know, for people to, you know, warm up to you. Not making mistakes and, you know, getting on with it so they can leave you alone. That's the best way, you know, to make sure that you make it and you're not one of these statistics that, you know, fail in the first six months, unfortunately. So I hope you found that information helpful. And if you've got any more questions, please send them through. And if you could share the video around and like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.